Zambia's acting president Rupia Banda has said media allegations that he bribed opposition party officials to endorse his presidential candidate in the October 30th elections were mere politics. He commended the law enforcement agencies championing the anti-corruption crusade and pledged to strengthen the institutions if elected as head of the state. CJ Brenda Zulu, dejected by the allegations, wants the country's political leaders to continue the legacy of late President Mr. Mwane Vasa. This is Brenda Zulu, citizen journalist, reporting from Zambia for Instablogs. Thanks to late Mr. Monawasa's anti-corruption drive, Zambia has improved substantially in the Transparency International's Corruption Index. The bribery allegation against Mr. Rupia Banda, presidential hopeful in the upcoming election, goes on to prove that it won't be easy to feel in the shoes of the late president. Such news is disappointing for an ordinary Zambian that has yet to overcome the grief of losing a great leader. It was latter's sweeping and corruption drive that has rebuilt the confidence of Zambians in state institutions. Mr. Band and other running presidential candidates must realize that this is the time to renew their commitment to fight corruption rather than scumbing to allegations of sleaze and fraud. Zambians had a long stint with corrupt polity that has left the country socially, politically, economically in shambles. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com.